Hello, my name is Brian Jansen, and I'm your 2012 Battle of the Books moderator here at Grand Haven Elementary. You can think of me as a game show host for the battles. This video will give you the rules you need to know for the upcoming Battle of the Books. Two teams will battle at a time. At the beginning, I'll ask the captains to come forward and they will rock, paper, scissors to decide which team will do the odd questions and which team will do the even questions. After that's taken care of, then I'll need to know who the spokesperson will be for each team, the one who will be actually saying the answers to me and the judges. After that, we're ready to begin. No. Each battle consists of 16 questions, and the teams will field the questions one at a time, so one team will do the odd questions and one team will do the even ones. There are two kinds of questions that we'll be asking. The first eight questions will be in which book questions. The answer to all eight of these questions is going to be the title of a book and its author. And you'll need to give the full title and the author's names for those uh, answers for the books. For example, I might say, in which book does Charlotte spin a web? The answer would be Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. The second eight questions are called content questions. I'll give you the name of the book and then I'll ask a question about that book. So for example, I might say, in the book Charlotte's Web, what kind of animal spins the web? The answer would be a spider. Those are the 16 questions and each ones are worth five points. Questions that have two parts to the answer, for example, the author and the title, the first part that you get is worth three points and the second part is two points. Occasionally, there'll be content questions with two-part answers as well, and they'll each be worth three points and then two points, too. Once I ask a question, the four of you can then discuss it quietly as a team. Once you agree on your team's answer, then the spokesperson will give me that answer. You get 15 seconds for each question. Now, if you happen to know the answer before 15 seconds is up, the spokesperson may give their answer at any time during those 15 seconds. But, this is very important, once the spokesperson begins to give an answer to the judges, all discussion must stop. No other team members may talk or whisper after that. If time expires, the 15 seconds is up, all discussion must stop, and the spokesperson must give an answer right away. If not, the other team gets a chance to take that question. If I ask Team A their question and they give me the wrong answer or time runs out and they don't give me an answer at all, then Team B will have the opportunity to answer that same question and steal those points. I'll ask the question again to Team B and they'll have 15 seconds to discuss and give me their answer. If you mispronounce a name or a word, that's okay, as long as I know you have the right answer. If it seems like you're on the right track, I may ask the spokesperson to be more specific, though only the spokesperson may speak at that point. If it's still not quite right, I'll give the other team a chance at it. Um, I guess so. At the end of the battle, I'll give each team 15 seconds to decide if they want to challenge a question. If you believe that you gave a right answer but I said it was wrong, then you have the opportunity to challenge. I encourage you only to challenge if you're confident that you're right. Now once I accept your challenge, we'll give your team a copy of the book in question and you'll have two minutes to find the answer and show it to me and the judges on the page itself. Note that only one team can be awarded points for a question. So the one that we decide is the most right will get the points. Absolutely, that is the Grand Haven way. So two things, make sure you're courteous when the other team is being asked a question. Don't laugh or joke or talk during that time so that they can discuss their own answers. Also, once the battle's over, win or lose, I encourage you to shake hands and say, good game to the other team. That's good sportsmanship. This year we have 18 teams battling, and each team will battle three times. Once all those battles are done, 
we'll take the points that you've scored in all three of your battles and add them together. The eight teams that have the highest point total will go on to the playoffs, and it's through those playoffs that we'll figure out who the eventual winner will be for Grand Haven Elementary in 2012. Here are three things I'd give you for strategy for these book battles. First of all, picking your spokesperson is very important. I would choose for my spokesperson the person who has read the most books so things are most familiar to them in each of the questions. Also, make sure your spokesperson knows all of the authors of those books because you'll need those in all eight of the in which book questions. The second thing is, there's no penalty for getting the wrong answer, so it always helps to go ahead and guess, especially in the in which book questions. You know it'll be one of the titles and authors, so you might as well throw an answer out there, even if you're not really sure. And the third thing is, you may want to discuss your answer quietly with your team members if it's your question. You don't want the other team to kind of hear what you're discussing and get any clues about what they may answer in case you get the answer wrong and they get a chance to steal those points. So discuss your answers kind of quietly, but make sure your spokesperson hears clearly what the answer is going to be. Don't whisper so quietly that they have trouble understanding the words or the names or whatever they're going to have to speak to the judges because that's important. Good luck.